Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to the D4A channel. Today I'm hacking up my wiring harness. Now, why would I want to hack up my wiring harness, you say? Well, if you have been watching my bike cart conversion, you will know that the fuel supply for my engine will be handled by my bike carbs, which means that I no longer need all the electronics associated with fuel injection. You will also know that the ignition for my engine will be handled by the Nodis Ignition ECU, which needs just a few connections to run right, which means that I do not need almost, yeah, probably almost all of the connections on this wiring harness. And what that is, is a great opportunity for me to have a clean looking engine bay, which is something that I have always honestly wanted. Also, about a year ago, when I was working hard on troubleshooting uh, my 4AG, some of these connectors and their associated devices have given me a lot of grief. And today, it's the day when I enact my revenge. And because I'm feeling kind of silly today, we're going to do it in a silly way. But wait, just a moment, please. Because this is a fair garage, we are going to hold a fair trial today for all of these connectors. The first case here today before us is the AFM connector versus D4A. May the defense please rise. Your Honor, the AFM connector is a key part of the wiring harness. Without the AFM connector we cannot connect an airflow meter, which means that the ECU will not know how much air is coming into the engine, which means that nothing will run right. There is no case against the AFM connector, Your Honor. Please. Prosecution? Ya Anna, the AFM connector is stupid. It's stupid, it never work right. It connect to the AFM, the AFM is bulky, it's ugly, it never work right. We took a multimeter to the AFM like a million times and we measure all the resistance and it never work right. Kill it, Your Anna, please, kill it. Objection, Your Honor, this makes no sense. The AFM connector is not the same as the AFM. Even if the AFM doesn't run right, the connector is still good. We can replace the AFM and, and you know, have a normal running system. Please, everyone, have some sense. Prosecution? Any response to this? Yeah, Anna, the AFM connector is an accomplice. It go into the AFM. They like this, they together as one. Kill him, your honor, kill him. Objection overruled. The sentence is a painful death with a bread knife. But your honor, this court cannot sentence people, I mean electrical connectors, to painful deaths. This should be a fair court. All judgments are final. Off with their heads. But your honor, please. Off with their heads, I said. Next case is D4A versus the injector connectors. May the defense please rise. Your Honor, I don't believe I even have to say this, but the injector connectors are key to the whole fuel injection system. Fuel injection is reliable, it works well, it works right, it works in different altitudes, it's, it's progress, it's modern, it's good. Please, keep the injector connectors, you might need them someday. Prosecution? Yeah, Anna, everybody know we be going bike carbs now. We don't need no injector connectors, get rid of them. The bike carbs be better, they look cool, they sound right. Get rid of the injector connector, please, your honor. This is insanity. Is, 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 does anybody hear these people? Dear defense lawyer, while your arguments may hold some truth to them, this is a garage and a court that embraces the evolution. We embrace the fiddleness of carburetors. We embrace going back in time. We embrace the old school. Therefore, the sentence because this is a fair court, is going to be a quick and painless death with a cleaver.
There goes my bonus. Next case is D4A versus the Electrical Idle Up BSV connector. Defense? Your Honor, this must stop. The Electrical Idle Up BSV connector is another key part of the wiring harness and the fuel injection system. It's really important because it's needed. Okay, yes, super important, whatever. Prosecution? Your Honor, we don't need it no more. And the thing's an eyesore. That's it? Hmm. Yep, that's pretty much it, your Honor. Very well. Sentence is death by an axe. This is preposterous. What is this court? And why do I get the stupidest hat? Because, because we, we hate, hate you. you. Anyway, off with their heads. Next up is D4A versus the connector for Toyota's primitive variable intake system, also known as the T-Vis. Defense? Your Honor, please have some sense. The T-Vis is a good system for the 4AG engine. It provides much needed torque in the low end of the RPM range. It is critical, please do not remove it. Your Honor, the twist connector be the worst of them all. It gave us so much trouble. It gave me a headache. It was always a tiny bit broken. And it was always falling off. And we would always think it was rod knock because when it fall off, the twist make this blip, 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 stupid sound. Horrible, Your Honor. And we'd be going with bicarbs. Twist be obsolete now. Your Honor, give it a hard sentence, please. I hate it, Your Honor. Very well. For crimes of a especially heinous nature, the twist connector is sentenced to death by flames off with their heads. But it makes no sense. You said death by flames, and then you said off with their heads. You just like saying off with their heads, don't you? Now, because this court needs to be more efficient, and because I have lunch in half an hour, we have decided to put all the remaining cases into one case. Therefore, the final case for today is D4A versus all the other stupid and useless connectors. Defense? What? You cannot just pile up all the cases into one case. Each case is an individual. Oh god. Prosecution? Ya Anna, can I say it this time? Go ahead. Off with their heads, your honor! Okay, I think that's enough pointless violence and kangaroo cords for one day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unwrap the harness and remove all of the unnecessary connectors nicely and properly. And then I'm going to wrap it again and heat shrink it and make it into a very pretty little harness.
Okay, so it's already nighttime outside, but I'm finally done with the wiring harness. And I have to say that I'm pretty proud of this. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, I was super afraid of doing any electrical work, but I have to say I was brave and I tackled this task and I researched a lot and asked a lot of questions and learned a lot and I am done with the wiring harness. Now this thing should work really nicely, it should just plug and play basically into the car because I have prepared all of the connections. Now just ignore these wires right here because I have left them untouched because I need to test, uh, test fit the length of these and then I will uh, cut them and solder and heat shrink and do everything else for these final few connections. Now I realize that uh, this might look kind of complicated and you have probably noticed that I have uh, added some relays and a few other things that might seem confusing but don't worry this was just the just the you know the crazy video with the trial and nonsense but there will be a detailed video where I will cover everything where it comes to all of the wiring you know information details tips and tricks and everything else concerning basically the, wi the wiring for my bike carb conversion of the 4AG engine. But before that I really want to kick things into high gear and work hard and fire up uh, the 4AG as soon as possible. Uh, as I already said in the last video, uh, the, there might be a live stream. I have tested the internet uh, where I am in the garage and the connection isn't great. So the live stream may be of crappy quality, but I will try to make it a live stream nevertheless. Uh, right now I'm thinking uh, next week, Friday, is what uh, is the date when the live stream will be happening. But there will be one more video before the firing up of the 4AG where I'm going to connect everything, you know, all the final steps. And in that video I will give you the final time for the live stream of the first start of the 4AG. Now, one more thing I want to show you when it comes to this wiring harness is all the junk that I have gotten rid of and you can see it right here. So here's all the junk in the old wire harness. Look at this. Look at all the weight saving. I think, I think that's all of it. It's not. There's more junk. And connectors. Look at that. So much junk. And let's not forget that we got rid of this guy and this guy and this guy and also this guy. All of this is not needed anymore. Look, look, I'm so proud of getting rid of all of this. So there you have it. Super, super weight saving and what's of course more important because this isn't really that much weight is that I have made my engine bay so much cleaner, so much simpler and so much more, you know, prettier to look at. So I guess that's enough for today. Time to go home, time to hit the sack. I hope you liked today's video. I hope it wasn't too insane. I kind of lost it there. I don't know why, but I hope it was fun. Uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe and definitely I'll be seeing you soon with more fun stuff on the D4A channel.